Hi everyone, do you buy and sell crypto? This fee overview will save you some money. It will apply to US dollar trading mainly and mainly to people who trade under $100,000 per month. And I will have a look at the fees on Coinbase and Bitstamp because these are two very popular exchanges. Um, and the issue I'll focus on is that on a $10,000 order, um, even as a maker, you pay $50 in fees. So extrapolating the current price to $10,000, if you execute here, the amount you pay would is equivalent of having your trade executed here or here. So you're not getting a good deal if you are in a low volume tier on Coinbase and Bitstamp. The solution to this, long story short, will be if you are a non-US entity, you should go to FTX.com and you should consider it with. Um, if you are a US entity, uh, you should check out uh, ItBit and then FTX US um, could be a good option. Um, why? I'll explain why is that, uh, why you should be a maker and uh, when you're a maker, a big entity with near zero fees will execute against your order. I'll talk a bit about the matching prices. Um, I'll explore the fees on uh, for low tier customers on all the relevant exchanges. Um, and these are uh, the fees I'll go through. Please give me the thumbs up. Please comment in the comment section below and please subscribe. Also have a look at the links in the description. They will save you some money as well. Right, so this video will be most relevant for people trading under $100,000 per month and, and certainly under $1 million per month. At that point, you reach a higher tier and you probably know what you're doing. So you don't need me talking about the fees. This applies mainly to US dollars. Um, if you would like a video about Euro trading, please leave a comment below and um, I'll see what I can do. However, these concepts can be uh, extrapolated to all the markets in, in all the currency pairs. So most of you probably buy and sell small volumes on, crypt on Coinbase and on Bitstamp, and this is not the best choice. There is large volume on these exchanges and it allows execution at uh, at a really well at a price really close to the market price uh, but the execution that the execution is mainly done by entities benefiting from near zero fees so the issue here is that when you're buying ten thousand dollars worth of um, bitcoin for example you pay $50 in fees for uh, the lowest tier on Coinbase and on Bitstamp. And if you were a large volume trader and if you are still a maker, the fee would be zero instead of $50. And, he, and if you just multiply this by, you know, however Bitcoins you need to buy, this $50 per, per every single Bitcoin accumulates a lot. So, um, this is a, a, a very simple uh, drawing of, of the tickers. So these tickers demonstrate the price of Kraken, Bitstamp and Itbit. So Kraken is green, Bitstamp is orange and Itbit is red. Uh, nearby you have the OKEx Future Quarterly, which is a very high volume contract. And you can see them moving together uh, in, in real time here. But what I have drawn here is a, a representation of a $50 fee, um, which you would get on around the $10,000 Bitcoin. Um, so it's, it's, it's a tiny bit shorter because we are not at 10K at the moment, but it, it illustrates the idea. So at this point in time, the price of Bitcoin uh, was at this level, and that is $8,730. So if you um, were a, a big player and submitted an, a maker order here, the price would have executed at this price, 8,730, and you would pay zero maker fee because you trade large volume. But because you guys don't trade large volume, you would pay 0.5% trading fee. So your cost of the transaction would be exact same as one of these big entities um, 
buying at a high price like $50 higher price or selling at a lower price $50 lower uh, than what these big players are, are executing so that's quite a significant issue um, and you can go around it so um, for those inpatient viewers uh, this is the the long story short solution but I'll get into the nitty-gritty of all this in a moment so if you are a non-US entity you should go to FTX.com because of their very low fees and really good liquidity you could also consider it a bit like it it's up to your liking however well if you do bigger volumes probably ftx.com however if you are a u.s entity probably itbit is your best option if you're doing small volumes um as it will be the cheapest um ftx us is coming soon and it might be quite competitive um however the current fee is only just a draft uh, the current fee schedule is just a draft so let's explain why is this all the case so why you need to be a maker first of all maker gives you usually significantly lower fee um, second thing is that a maker is always on the better side of the order book so it gets the better price uh, well he should get a better price and um, to be a taker you need to know something that market doesn't know um, and usually that's not the case for small traders um, so if 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 I should not be a taker, why are there takers are, are are they are there takers in the market? So big entities who, who know things that others don't um, can be takers. And for example, uh, that entity will know that on Kraken someone is buying Bitcoin fifteen dollars higher than your sell on Itbit. So they will sell to the guy on Kraken and they will buy your Bitcoin on Itbit, which is the cheapest, and they will make some money. You can't do that because, first of all, you don't have such low taker fees. Second thing, you don't know that two milliseconds and an arbitrage opportunity has appeared because you don't have a monitoring systems for that. The third thing is that you don't have excess Bitcoin and USD on all exchanges and you, you don't have the opportunity to execute such arbitrage. Um, also, other uh, things that could make you a taker would be some insider knowledge or some news which you want to act upon instantly. But that's not not often the case. So, so for example, if you are an ICO insider, you could know things that others don't, and you want to execute immediately. Uh, but that that will probably not be what uh, what you'll be doing when you are buying and selling Bitcoin. So these guys, for example, could know that after executing this taker order, they will obliterate the order book uh, of the altcoin with some more mal market sells within the next few seconds and these things have been happening after the big ico bubble so i hope that you all agree that you should be a maker and that it is uh, more cost efficient to be a maker um, now i'll bring back the tickers um, so uh, what happens if you leave your order in the order book when the price moves against you a big entity with near zero fees will execute against this order so on Coinbase and on Bitstamp, the matching price will be essentially the same as on FTX and likely a bit better than on Itbit. But that price will not make up for this humongous 0.5% um, which uh, you could be subject to on Coinbase and Bitstamp. So who are the big guys with very low fees? Um, they are the guys who do arbitrage between exchanges and they also operate in derivatives markets. Uh, that requires access to spot markets uh, to make profits. And you can see my video about cash and carry arbitrage to get one of the ideas what these guys are up to. Um, I have explored fees on low tier, uh, for low tier customers on all the major USD based exchanges. There are a lot of comparisons for fees but they don't really take into consideration the tiers and and that's just mis misrepresentation um, 
So we'll go through that in a moment. So who are the serious fiat USD exchanges in the space? First of all, they need to generate some genuine volume. Second of all, they need to be trustworthy and they need to be, well, at least in my view, they need to be included in big derivatives ex uh, indexes and that gives them a lot, a lot of legitimacy. legitimacy. Um, legitimacy. <laughs> Right, so um, if you trade BTC USD pair on an exchange that I have not listed, you should seriously consider changing your exchange. Um, now, on CoinGecko, there will be plenty of exchanges. Um, you can uh, look at the non normalized volume, and that will show you some crazy numbers. Uh, like, for example, here, ZB is, is, is faking their volume a lot. Um, but I, I would focus on which exchanges have been included by the major um, derivatives exchanges. And this is the list for Deribit. So they have included Bitfinex, Bitstamp, Bitrex, Coinbase Pro, Gemini, Itbit, Kraken and Elmax Digital. And they have excluded Bitfinex likely because of the banking issues. And this has happened like more than a year ago and they are still excluded. Um, by the way, if you are buying on Coinbase, not Coinbase Pro, then you should certainly switch to Coinbase Pro. BitMEX for fiat pairs includes Bitstamp, Bitrex, Coinbase, Gemini, Itbit and Kraken. Um, CME and Kraken Futures, they include Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini and Bitstamp. They include Itbit for Bitcoin reference rate, but not for settlement. And they use Itbit for ETH which uh, they don't suspend it bit uh, for ETH pairs. Bitfinex is at the moment suspended and OKCoin is suspended as well. So um, uh, just for a um, quick explanation, one uh, BPS is 0.01%. Uh, that stands for a basis point. Um, so these are the fees for Coinbase Pro. If you trade less than $10,000 per month, you're paying 0.5% fee on your trades. Even if you go up to $50,000 per month, you're still in a very high fee bracket. It's 0.35%. So that's $35 on a 10,000 Bitcoin purchase. And only after you cross $50,000 per month, you get... 0.15% maker on Coinbase. So that is not great. On Bitstamp, just the same as on Coinbase, you start with 0.5% up to the first $10,000. And then it goes down after $20,000. You drop to 0.25. And then as you progress towards $200,000, you go to 0.2%. And just uh, for just for your interest, I'm sure you don't trade these volumes, but when you trade between 100 million and 1 billion per month, your maker fee is zero on Coinbase. So that's quite a difference between 0.5% and zero. Um, zero trading fees on Bitstamp are available for people trading uh, 10 billion. Um, that, that constitutes for even a 0% taker fee. And on Bitstamp, you also have fee rounding. So if your fee is supposed to be 0 0.111, it's, uh, it's rounded up to 0.12%. Kraken has better fees than Coinbase and Bitstamp. So for the first $50,000 worth of fees, the maker um, order will only incur a 0.16% fee. So if you are picking between these three biggest exchanges, um, then I, I would go for Kraken because the fee is not so homongous there. Going further, Bittrex, um, well, uh, going back to Kraken, if, if you do uh, over 50,000 uh, up to 100, 0 0.14, then 0 0.12, if you go up to 200,000, so it is, it is getting better the more you trade. Uh, with Bittrex, 
up to 50,000 you pay 0.2 as a maker Gemini 0.25% up to half a million dollars per month Binance is actually uh, not bad um, they have not been accepting wires until um, not so long ago and their f their fees so let's just progress through bitstamp um, these are the kraken fees um, bitrex fees gemini really high fees and now we are with binance so they do have maker taker 0.1 percent fees but on binance.com which is not available for us customers with all the bnb fees and kickback and referral links you you can find the referral links in the description below you can bring down your maker fee to 0 0.6 uh, sorry 0 0.06 percent and the taker fee is exactly the same and that is really good so you should seriously consider going to binance um, as well um, for us customers it is slightly different it looks like they don't offer as much um, discounts on their trading fees so on binance uh, if you're trading up to fifty thousand dollars per month um, for us customers you can get 0.075 percent for maker and the taker fee uh, moving to bitfinex uh, bitfinex is is actually um, not particularly great on this comparison of fees uh, the fee for the maker is 0.1 percent and it's 0.2 percent for taker um, it goes down even if you have one dollar worth of leo um, and it's it's zero when you trade more than one billion per month so maker fee is is zero in that case huobi exchange um, it, it's a massive exchange but the thing is that they are mainly operating in chinese um, so it's chinese uh, uh, currency and if you want to trade US dollars on Huobi, the fees will go to 0.7%. So uh, I, I, I cannot recommend Huobi um, for trading US dollars. But it is a, a legit big exchange. Um, the next exchange I'd like to mention is LMAX. Now, most of you will not have access to LMAX. Um, they have some very low fees. So even uh, in, in the lower tier, under 100 million per month, you have two beeps per, um, uh, sorry, two beeps, uh, which is 0.02% um, for the maker. However, there are some constant fees which you have to pay for connection to the platform and you can apply but probably most of you will not have your application accepted because it's for institutional uh, players um, and here we go with the ftx.com so if you are a US customer you cannot use ftx.com you you have to use ftx US which is still in in beta version and ftx is really great because the maker fee is 0.02% which is really really great and the liquidity on this exchange is really good you can expect your trades to be executed more or less at the same price as you have your execution on um, platforms like um, uh, like bitstamp and coinbase pro the spread is around four dollars when it's not particularly volatile and uh, these market makers they will execute against your order quite eagerly um, and and you're only pay, uh, paying 0.02 percent which is which is really great um, and as you trade more and more for example if you are a backstop liquidity participant um, and you trade large volume you pay zero percent as a maker and 0.02 percent as a taker so it's an overall very cheap platform to trade on um, what's also um, what also needs to be mentioned that they give discounts for holders of ftf uh, of ftx tokens which in my view are slightly overpriced but that's not a topic of the discussion and um, btc withdrawals can be expensive but at the moment as far as i uh, know at least recently they were offering free bitcoin withdrawals 
So if you are buying small amounts, you can get your free withdrawal there. And here we go to FTX US. So the fee schedule here is, is not so great, at least the draft fee schedule. It might change over time. Operating in US is expensive and a little bit risky. Um, so it's it's something to watch in the future um, but it looks like they are not going to offer as low fees and they are offering on their global platform and here we go to the itbit so itbit is a very low uh, volume exchange and i can bring up the volume by price and this just shows how much volume there is being done on OKEx futures and if we remove OKEx from this chart we'll be left with big volumes being done on Bitstamp, some decent volume being done on Kraken and then minuscule volume on Itbit but that could be just enough for you to execute your trades so with um, with Bitstamp even if, even as you go to the lower tier which is 0.35% this is the amount of of money you are losing by paying that fee and itbit pays you for being a a maker so it pays you 0.03% so although the execution price will not be the best and you can see that sometimes the price is lagging so in this case actually the price was lagging quite a lot and let's bring this up and see what happened with the volume there wasn't particularly much volume here um, so if if you have submitted an order here then you are not particularly uh, fortunate so this was executed 20 around 20 dollars away from the true market value but it's still better than paying a big fee on on bitstamp or on or on kraken and you can see that these instances are not particularly common so if you're buying small volumes it is probably reasonable to leave your orders resting on on itbit and the taker fee for small volume users is 0.35% which is rather high but people who will execute against your order they are not paying 0.35% fees they are probably trading around, uh, more than 15 million or more than 60 million and they are paying some very low taker fees so I believe that that could save you a lot of money if you go to an exchange which is illiquid doesn't offer best matching price but can offer very low trading price some honorable mentions robin hood um, one year ago it had high spreads which were 20 dollars so that's like that doesn't give you a, a very good uh, price and apparently square cash app charges you 1.75 percent fee for bitcoin transactions uh, now limitation of my overview is that I ignored the deposit fees um, and a mention uh, and I wanted to mention that there should be enough volume for at least two takers to compete against each other for your order otherwise with a single arbitrager he can decide to have a higher margin than necessary for him and that takes advantage of your orders left in the order book that's an issue on small exchanges on some small derivatives exchanges on some small contracts um, but I believe on it but there are a, a few market makers uh, which will execute against your orders um, why charging a lot for small traders is fair on exchanges like coinbase or uh, bitstamp that's because these small users are usually newbies and they require a lot of customer support which is disproportionate to the volumes they generate so although they are charging a lot i think i think it's still fair um, and an important consideration i am not being paid by itbit or by ftx this is a completely independent review um, i do have an ftx discount link um, uh, so you can you can bring down this 0.02% maker fee with 
with my link in the description below um, and FTX does not onboard customers uh, with personal accounts from these jurisdictions and doesn't accept um, corporate accounts from these jurisdictions so just to wrap it up um, be aware of these very high maker and well well first of all be a maker when you are uh, trading Bitcoin uh, second thing um, try to avoid the 0.5% trading fees and look for exchanges which have which have very low trading fees or even negative fees like itbit and if these exchanges are liquid enough they might give you not the great field price but the the savings on fees can make up for that and consider going to to ftx.com they have some killer low fees um, and you can make them even lower with my link in the description thank you very much for watching please give me the thumbs up please like comment and subscribe